What's up everybody, David Patino here for V-Flat World and today I'm gonna to take you through a few different lighting setups using some V-Flats. So for cameras today, uh, we're gonna play around with a few things. Number one is we've got the Phase One XF IQ3 100 megapixel system. So we've got tons of dynamic range, we've got a big file to play with. That's our primary camera, we're gonna do a lot of things with that. We also have a couple of film cameras. We're gonna be shooting with a Mamiya uh, RB67. So we'll be shooting uh, 120 film, Ilford HP5, so all black and white. We're gonna process that all in-house. And then we're also gonna be shooting some peel apart Fuji FP100C, which is a instant print. So lots of fun there. And for our last camera, we're gonna be shooting with a Toyo 4x5, and we'll be shooting more Ilford HP5, just really big 4x5 negatives. And our first setup here, what we're gonna do is we're using the Ellen Chrome six and a half foot Octobank. It's an indirect Octobank. And we've got a Profoto Acute Pack running into it. On either side of our model, I'm going to put the black side of the V-flats to kind of just suck up a little bit of that extra light and create a nice little black edge down on either side of her arm. Not paying any attention to me? Good, and super cool. Do one more there. I'll tell you what, take one step back towards the wall. Perfect. Oh yeah. Boom, you're gonna bring that right hand back up toward your, you were just like flipping your hair, just kind of stick it under your hair, just like that. Good, and then looking back towards Marcy over here. Cool, super serious, no smile, and love it. Give me one more. Cool, relax for a second. Looks cool, kid. Super cool. Done. Looking cool. Perfect. So you can stare right towards that black wall right next to you. Awesome. And Good stuff. Cool, let's do one more. Love it. So for our next look, we want things to be a little bit moodier. We're gonna bring in uh, a V-flat and use the black side as our background. For lighting, we're going to fly a five-foot octobank with a grid directly overhead. And that's gonna keep all the light from spilling out. It's gonna give us nice shadows everywhere to kind of fill out everything and dial in exactly where we want her face to be. Cool. Chin straight up to me. There we go. And beautiful. One more. And cool. And then one more right there. Stunning. Literally stunning. And then, so chin goes down, you're gonna kind of look towards the ground, just like that. Don't move a thing. Beautiful. That's double, and here we go. Perfect. You can jump up from there. Cool. Super, super cool. So for our next setup, we're gonna switch out the background and we're gonna bring in kind of a tan colored, hand painted canvas. Uh, we're gonna brighten things up a little bit. We're gonna keep the five foot octa, but we're gonna pull the grid off of it and let that kind of spill everywhere. To bring our shadows up, we're gonna use the Ellen Chrome indirect again. Um, we're gonna pull the front baffle off of it so we just have all that beautiful silver specular goodness pouring out onto the model. We'll dial that into where we want it. We're gonna use a V-flat on either side of the model. I've got white on one side here to kind of kick some light back in. And I've also got the black side here, which is gonna soak up a little bit of that spilling off. You can just relax your hands. I actually kinda of want you to just hold them up front like this, but like higher than they should be. Yeah, yeah, like you're pregnant. <laughs> but yeah, almost like higher than they should be. That's cool, I love that. And you're gonna look right down towards the ground here. Beautiful, stick one more. Good, and then stay right where you are. Let's do one over. Cool, relax for just a second. Oh yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Perfect. And cool. Please do. Oh. Cool, so just kind of like, let it fall in front of your face even. Just like, yeah, just 
let it go. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. Don't even, yeah, boom. And. So for our last shot, we're gonna bring back all of that drama and then some. We're gonna put the grid back on the five foot octa and fly it straight overhead. This is gonna light the top of our model and kind of have everything just cascade off. The rest of the room will fall into darkness. Now I wanna get a little bit of light back onto her face, so I'm gonna take one of the V flats here and we're gonna prop it up onto an apple box just to give it a little bit of angle and kind of throw some of that light back into her because the octa is actually positioned just in front of her head. And so most of that light is gonna hit the V flat and bounce back up. Kangaroos. There we go. <laughs> Love it. That's cool. That's it. Let's do one more, just like that. Beautiful. Good, and... Good, so that's gonna be your spot. You can't move from there. And bring your chin way up. Good, just like that. Good, you can close your eyes for this too. Just like that, hold that real quick. We're gonna take this shot. Here we go, comes a shot. Cool, you can relax for a second now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. To learn more about the V-flats we used in this video, head on over to vflatworld.com or check out their Instagram, at vflatworld. And we'll see you next time.